All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First and foremost, all the praise, honor, and glory goes unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. All right. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, <clears throat> who rule well. And the sincere salutations, you hopeful elect, Akim out there. All right, and you few, you few sisters uh, that, you know, watch the videos, man. So, <clears throat> woe unto those who go to Egypt for help, man. So I was watching how the elders, some of the elders out there in Connecticut, all right, uh, one of the elders, uh, Aya Thun, and uh, some of the other elders, Benjamin Elder, uh, the other Benjamin Elder. And so, you know, the, the, the whole thing, the whole time was, that look at the look at the repercussions from the Jews. Look at the repercussions from the the um the venom <laughs> as they've been calling it the venom the serpent's juice you know whatever you know whatever you want to call it man just don't call it by just don't call it what it actually is <clears throat> but they'll try to you know cut the Cut the video and shit. Alright. But um anywho. Yeah, well hey, good for them. And they kept saying that. The spirit <clears throat> had them to continue to keep saying that. You know, good for them. Good for them, good for them niggas. Which that I agree. I agree. If you getting hit with the juice. That's because really, ultimately, the Lord put the spirit on you to get hit with the juice, man. That's why Lord's will, you know, you brothers, you st you, you, st you stay uh, close to your about shooting out shots. Because ultimately, people are going to keep bullshitting. They're going to, you know, most people going to take the juice. All right, just like most people, they're going to take the uh, chip, man. That's just, <laughs> that's just biblical prophecy. All right. <clears throat> It's a cooler day today. You know? So there's lots lots of activity, man. You know? <clears throat> Alright, but anyways, on to the scriptures, man. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen because they are very strong. So woe to you for trusting for trusting in this damn devil. You think you think the military is gonna save you? You think the, the hospital is gonna save you? You think all these things, man. And that's just not that is just not the case. It's not the case, bro. Okay. <clears throat> it says, <clears throat> because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seeketh Slakia, neither seek the Lord. So you're trying to seek, you know, everything but the Lord. So you, so you already know what time it is. You know the repercussions for that. Because in these times, we're supposed to be leaning on faith. Faith, really faith is all you got. Like they ask you, well, uh, how do you know this? How do you know that? It's through the spirit. And it's through it's through faith. See, because most of these people, they're faithless, man. They <laughs> they, tr hey, they trust in um, like I said, they're trusting in the military. They're trusting in um you know, they're women, you know, women, they're trusting in their men, and not, not a man of the Lord, they're trusting in just, you know, some wicked nigga, Tyrone up the block, <laughs> with, you know, two rusty ass high points, and she think that, that that's going to get, that's going to get her, 
out of the hell that's about to uh, break a loose. Because <laughs> best believe, all right, you, <laughs> you can bet your last dollar and your last penny that all hell is going to break loose here in Babylon the Great, man. <clears throat> all right, it says, verse 2, Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words but will arise against the house of the evildoers. Who's the house of the evildoers? <clears throat> you self-proclaimed white people. Once again, let me bring <laughs> let me let me bring that to the forefront again through the spirit. You self-proclaimed white people. The self-proclaimed white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And prove us wrong. <clears throat> There's yet uh, to be a video that comes out proving that statement wrong. Where where are the videos proving who Esau is? Where's the videos proving who the devil is? I haven't seen none. That's because there aren't any, man. Okay, we, we got thousands of videos, you know, collectively. Brothers have thousands of videos calling you out, <clears throat> you damn devils. Yeah, what you got? You got a bunch of uh, hearsay. You got a bunch of you know, scoffing, scoffing, and they saying you don't really have no uh, solidified uh, words, man. As you know, even in this damn devil system in the court of law, hey, you gotta have witnesses, right? You gotta have witnesses. So you devils have no you you devils really you bearing false witness. You're saying you're saying that we're the wicked, we're the evil doers. Right? When in reality it's you so-called white people. Now Jake, now I will say this, Jake, Jake, yeah, uh, you would think that Jake is the wicked the way that Jake act. But Jake has just taken on the mind frame of the wicked. He's not the actual wicked. He just does, you know, wicked deeds, man. <clears throat> so it says. And against the help of them that work iniquity. Verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not power. And their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand. Both he that helpeth shall fall. And he that is hoping shall fall down. And they all shall fail together. So <clears throat> basically them chariots are coming. You see the elite know that. These elite, these elite bankers. They'll tell you. Okay, they'll tell you. That's why they put in the movies. All right, they're, they're telling you, hey, something's about to happen. Something about to take place. You know, get ready. They're giving you warnings. <laughs> yeah, you're not taking heed. You know, all hell is about to break loose down here on the earth now. And it's daily that you're seeing that. All right. And it says fail, to get, fail together. You know? Like when you get caught cheating on a test. Not just you. But the person you help. You know, the person that facilitated you doing all that cheating on the test. Everybody fail, man. <laughs> Everybody fell. If you seen, if you seen them cheat, you witnessed them cheat. The teacher saw that you was looking. Okay, they gonna think you was involved too. So you getting it too. Everybody getting it. Everybody failing. All right, and that's how, that's how our Lord <clears throat> is considering uh, uh, these Egyptians failures. Two thirds of Israel's failures, man. And 144,000 Israelites and one, -thirds, and one third of, of Israel here in America is going to be winners. So we're seeking uh, salvation. We're seeking to win. Okay? We don't, we don't want to be subject to death here by missile. That's painful, man. That's going to be a pain. And see, you never know, man. It could feel like five minutes. Just burn, just burning. 
when the missiles touch down, man. We don't even really want to think about it yet. Really, you have to. All right? Really, you have to think about it. Because the, conclu the conclusion of the whole matter is that you devils, you devils are going into slavery. Two-thirds of Israel is getting, you know, bombarded with missiles. And so are you heathen nations. And Jake just, Jake is living his life. Jake don't give a shit. So really it's going to be Jake that's going to be caught off guard. So you got <clears throat> these uh, heathens, they prepping, you know, they doing what they need to do or what they feel they need to do. Right? Yeah. What is Jake doing? Jake, <laughs> Jake want to know where the party at, what, you know, where the girl so he can bring, bring the Bacardi at, you know, but hey man, but this ain't, this ain't 2002, this ain't the Nelly times, man, all right, <laughs> when you had Nelly on the scene, that was a party, but see, everybody's still in that Nelly spirit, you know, it's, it's not what time it is, <clears throat> It's time to get serious. You know, the elder, elder brothers, elder apostles, they've been repeating that, you know, in a lot of their lessons. And it's time, it's time for us to get right, you know, and, and grow the fuck up. All right, because Jake, Jake still want to live like he's 16. Because most of us at 16, man, we were... We were raising hell. I said myself, I was a hell raiser, man. You know, you're doing what you want to do when you want to. You know, you got, of course, you got respect, you know, for your parents and whatnot. But, you know, some of us, but still, we, you know, we were being disrespectful by not following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. <clears throat> so even if we think we was being respectful. <laughs> really, you being disrespectful. Right? <clears throat> Verse 4. For thus, Salakia, for thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, Isaiah, right? Like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice. <laughs> he will not be afraid of their voice nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. So the, the future, <clears throat> the future governing body of the kingdom of heaven, <clears throat> for the most part, is here. <laughs> so they're not paying attention to the men. They're like, yeah, no, nah, we got you in captivity. We, we got your woman against you. We got your children against you. All right, what can you do? It's not shit you can do. They basically taunting us. <clears throat> they not listen. They not listening to the words. Hey, destruction is coming. All right, you damn devils are going into slavery. They not hearing that. All right. And Salakia. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a second. Salakia. I just had to do something that required me to use two hands. <clears throat> Anyways, back to the scriptures, Isaiah 31 and 5. All right, and this is how in Isaiah 31 and 5, this is how you know that uh, the verse beforehand in verse 4, it says, this is this is how you know that these are talking about the chariots. Because right here, alongside the Lord, okay, well, behind the Lord is going to be the, the angels, right? And the person who's not, and when it says he will not, he will not be afraid of their voice, speaking about the, the voice of the prophets, right? Nor abase himself for the noise of them. 
Yeah, right. Uh, he isn't saying, okay, I'm, I'm the devil. Okay, where are the chains? I'll put myself in slavery. No, man. You're going to fight to the to the end. All right, verse 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. All right, so that, you know, that's a, a nomen omen. All right, like the elder Apostle Gabar likes to go into a lot. A nomen omen because Yahweh shy. He the deliverer, you know, he is salvation. It says, and passing over, he will preserve it. All right? And what's that? It. Really, that's the elect. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel I have deeply revolted. Let me read that again. Isaiah 31 and 6. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. <clears throat> so we have to we have to turn from those ways of of uh, being against the heavenly Father through His Son, and you know before Him, because whether we know it or not, we were against the heavenly Father and His Son at one point, all the way, really, all the way up until we came into this truth and learned who we are and, and took this word uh, seriously. You know, because upon first coming into this truth, you know, you still shedding the world off of you. For some, it takes a little bit longer than others. You know, but we deeply revolted. Even if you were, you know, quote unquote, you know, cool, you wouldn't, you know, quote, you know, quote unquote, a bad kid. Really, you know, you, unless you good, you bad. There's no, like, kind of God, you know, yeah, he kind of good. No, man. Either you're for the Heavenly Father through his son, either you're for Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, or really you are enemy of the Heavenly Father. And see, Jake, Jake don't know that he have enemies out here. You got, hey, man, you got enemies in your household, enemies in your workplace. When you're walking your dog, you got enemies. You go into the store, you got enemies. You go to get some gas from the gas station, you got enemies. You know, through the spirit, it, it see, Satan like to hop on people, man. In order to try to make you, um, in order to try to make you, uh, um, irritated. You know, and we just got to control that. That happened to me today. At work. Because you really, you want to pass judgment on the heathen. Instantly. You know, just in, just instantly. Because you don't, number one, you don't want a problem, you want peace. So how do you have peace? By, by, uh, uh, by putting out judgment. Yeah, right now we have to wait upon the Lord. But once once the Lord comes on the scene and does away with this place, Babylon, and sets up his government through his son, then it's over with. We're going to do what we want with y'all, man. And see, that, that rubs you heathens the wrong way. But shit, you know, you, you can try to act like you running the show here, but he's... You wasting your time, man. So have, have have your fun, all right. Enjoy your kingdom, your shitty kingdom, and uh, you know we gonna be the ones to to reign. Not only you know just for that thousand years while you devils are in captivity, but forevermore after that. You know, us reigning with the Lord, you know, for a thousand years. You know, you that's that's you that's you devils in captivity, man. And then after that, all the other nations are gonna see how uh Esau was destroyed and they're gonna say, Well damn, I you know I I just wanna cause that's really gonna make them act right, seeing us just passing judgment. You know, uh on that last day and, and constantly even before that, there's going to be judgments just constantly being, uh, you know, brought forth. 
to the point where the, the heathen is literally gonna they're gonna be fearful but especially after that thousand years is up and they see us gathering up <laughs> he was gathering up uh, uh, E you know they're gonna wanna help too they're gonna wanna help you know, we want to help. We want to help gather, gather them up. You know, and we're gonna be using the other heathens as task mas task masters, so like you, over you damn devils. Just like how you did us. You know. The same way, you know, the same way that you did us. We go. That's how we gonna do you, man. Eye for an eye, tooth to, to for a tooth. Okay. Verse 8, then shall the Assyrian fall with the sword, not of a mighty man, and the sword, not of a mean man, shall devour him. So this, and mean goes into average. So this ain't, this ain't some average shit. Y'all about to fall, hey man, and the Assyrian is the Babylonian. Okay, this is Assyria, this is Nineveh, this is Egypt. All these places uh, combined into one, speaking about Babylon the Great, otherwise known as America. Right. Let's, let me read that again. Isaiah 31 and 8. Then shall the Assyrian fall with the sword, not of a mighty man. And the sword, not of a mean man, shall devour him. But he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be discomfited. Ooh. What's going on? What's going on? That's what they're going to be saying. It's gonna be it's gonna be chariots. It's gonna be fucking lasers. All right, explosions. Oh, it's gonna get crazy out here. Okay. It, it, everything is gonna be on a on a sci-fi tip. All right. Except it's it's gonna be true. It's, this is not gonna be no science fiction. All right, this is this is going to literally happen before our very eyes, Lord's will. Lord's will, you know, you brothers, you sincere brothers get to see this in your lifetime. You know, and we're blessed to see this. You know, and, and Lord's will, we're on the, you know, uh, the right side of history. We don't want to be on the wrong side of history, man. Getting bombarded with missiles and... and you know, cause they're going, man. They're gonna do all kinds of shit. All right, when you go into these um these camps, when they force you into these camps, a lot of times, you know, it's just like jail. They make you, you know, cut all your cut all your hair off. You know, cut all your facial hair off. That's going to be one thing we're going to be like, hell no, nah. you know, for brothers that, you know, are going to be put into them uh, camps. You know, they're going to say, oh, you got, you know, in order for you to get aid, in order for you to get food, you got to, you know, you got to shave your beard, you know. And hell no. But you got certain guys that are going to do that, especially these guys in these you know, different unlearned camps. They're going to say, well, you know, I got to feed my family. I got to live. So they're going, you know, they're going to get a little, and see, E, E, E is not going to spend no money on you, Jake's going into these camps. He's not going, he's not going to give you a, a five blade razor to shave with. He's going to give you a, uh, one of them jail razors. One single is gonna be one single dull ass razor, generic brand razor. You know, and just like in jail, they gonna make you shave that witch. No, man. We. Can <laughs> I can't imagine myself without a without a beard, man. Is that it? Actually, and see, a lot of us prior to coming into this truth. Uh, shaved a lot like me me personally and i'm i'm just going to say a personal testimony me me personally i shaved like every other like every like three days three or four days i'd get like a little five o'clock shadow and then once my five o'clock shadow 
was getting a little, once the hair was getting a little, you know, quote unquote rough, once it kind of got past a five o'clock shadow, after about three, four days, I would shave. That's how I always was. I never had, I never had a full beard uh, up until coming into this truth. And the Lord, you know, blessed me uh, with facial hair. Certain brothers just don't, you know, their facial hair don't grow like that. And they desire, you know, they desire to have a beard, you know. So every every brother's different. If you, hey, for you younger brothers, man, if your, if your beard ain't coming in right, you know, get you some different oils, you know, different black, um, different black seed oils, uh, uh, uh. Uh, I think it's j j jojoba oil, if I'm not mistaken. Some, um, you know, some coconut oil. Get yourself a good brush, man, and just and just brush and and you know just let it let it come in if it's a little patchy, you know. Because when I was first coming into this truth and finally you know, stop shaving, man, it looked fucking horrible, you know. My facial hair just look it just didn't look right. But if you, you know, you leave it alone, you, you know, it's just like in this truth. You know, you take your time with it, but you don't take too much time with it. And go, and go through the motions and be, you know, sincere. You'll, you'll get there, man. Or maybe not. Maybe a lot is just, you know, just to maybe have a patchy, patchy beard. But it, at the end of the day, man, it don't fucking matter. Because we, even the most nicest glorious looking beard is not going to compare to what we're going to have in the kingdom every brother it's not going to be no brother in the kingdom with a with a patchy beard no man it's going to be full all right and the heathen the heathens they're going man they're going to beg they're going to be begging to brush it the women are going to be begging to brush it man you know they're going to be putting different hand pressed oils in it you know hand hand pick the best oils you know, that's that's what we're gonna be on, man. So it's not, you know, it's it's nothing really, quite honestly, to worry about, man. You know how we look is the last thing we need to be worried about. So you know, and I'm and I just keep saying this through the spirit. You know, you younger brothers don't find yourself, you know, lining yourself up or lining your beard up. None of that, man. Just let it grow. If you got some hair that's, you know, just too long or whatever the case is, cut it off, man. But don't, you know, don't be lying and nothing, you know, don't be getting getting all your shit lined up and all that, man. All right, verse 9. And he shall pass over to his stronghold for fear, and his princes shall be afraid of the ensign, saith the Lord. Whose fire is in Zion and his furnace in Jerusalem. 